Hello folks, it's the old odd one. We're out here doing soybeans today. Yes, we are doing soybeans. These little things right here. These are soybeans. These are what causes soy boys. Shrivels up their testicles. Well, maybe not that, but you know, it's a funny joke. Shrivels up their testicles. So anyway, we're out in a new field. Never done this one before. Yep. This is all soybeans, folks. Never did know that little plant could cause so much trouble with soys. But yeah, that's it, folks. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been a couple days. See, actually, you can tell I've got half the semi loaded. It's a lot of downtime with this, folks, because it takes forever to fill up the hopper to dump into me so I get a lot of downtime where I can stand here and be bored bored out of my head and that's what I'm doing is being bored out of my head but yeah that's how things are combines just to going Combine is just going out there back and forth, back and forth, combining the soybeans up. But you guys wanted to know when I did a soybean field, so this is the first one out of many that we have to do. And nice uh, peaceful day out here it's only 77 degrees nice and chill I'm sitting in the shade of course I ain't no dummy park in the shade and sit here eventually here folks I will do a video on how the dryer works for the corn up the bins drying corn because we'll be getting back on corn probably a day or two Maybe tomorrow, actually. Because there's not that many. we got this field and another field to hit. And then maybe one more. So, yeah, we might be out here two days. And then back on corn. It's supposed to be 90 degrees on Saturday, tomorrow. So, yeah. I'll stay in the tractor then in the air conditioner. But while it's nice today, I am out here. Come on, focus in. I don't know. Doesn't want to focus in on out there. Damn phone. There we go. That's better. Anyway, yeah. That's how it works, folks. It's the old odd one. I may be back with a little more. If this video is longer than what it what it is at this point, then I came up with something else to add. But right now, I have nothing. All right, guys, I'm back. I figured uh, some of you people would probably ask me what the hell a soybean is. I figured you would. Just, just to, you know, ask. Well, I'll tell you what. Soybean is from the lagoon family. If you don't know what a lagoon is, look it up your own damn self, people. I'm not giving you all the answers. That's what Google's for. But you know, they were first started cultivated around 5,000 years ago in China. Yeah, something else you can blame on China, folks. There's combine again. Yep, 5,000 years ago, China was cultivating soybeans. It wasn't until the 1800s when they started coming to America and growing them. Yep, 1800s. And now the United States represents 50% of all soybean production of the world. 50%. And you're thinking, what the hell good use is a soybean? Well, besides the uh, small fraction that's used for consumption by people, 
you know, some of them soy boys and fitness health nuts. Uh, and that's a slight, small percentage of what soybeans are used for. They're used to feed animals. They're used in, uh, make oils. They're, they're used in industrial purposes. There is a shit ton of uses for soybeans, folks, and not just eating them. One semi is finally full and gone. The second one's here. And we're about over halfway done with this field already. It'll be like one more se one more semi load and then a little bit in my wagon. Not much, I would imagine. Because we only got to go back to that little tree line there and we're done. You can see where the corn is over there. Yeah, yeah so there's not much left out here. Then we'll move to the next field. Which is even smaller than this. There'll be a few passes on that and it'll be done. And then we'll go to the third field. Of course, the big fields that we need to get to, we can't go to because, well, usually he has to drive through the neighbor's property to get to the fields because he can't fit over that old wooden bridge that you might have seen in a past video from last year. That old wooden bridge that I barely have room to get across with the tractor. Oh, yeah. That. He can't get across with the combine, so we gotta wait till the neighbor picks and gets all his crop out before we can even go to it. So it may be another month before I get to that one, folks. But yeah, this is it. Anyway, back to the soybeans. You know, actually, they're little hard things. You could probably put them in a pellet gun. I didn't say that, folks. But yes, there are many, many other uses for soybeans, folks. I just uh, don't know every single use. So if you really, really want to know more about soybeans, folks, you can just Google it. I told you the basics. Beats me. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little farm video. Like I said earlier, eventually one of these days I'll get up there before work starts and do more of an explanation of the dryer and stuff. Yep, he's not even half loaded. My little wagon. Little wagon, yeah. Sure it is. Look at the tire. Compared to me. That tire is bigger than me. I could, I could stand up inside that tire and roll down a hill. No, I'm not going to do it either. Don't even ask, people. I refuse to stand up in the tire. Not going to happen. Because I don't have access to a tire that's not on the wagon anyway. And I'm not taking it off. this is yeah blue sky nice blue sky today blue skies and now I'm all out of focus because I looked at the blue sky look at the ditch Let's pull back there we go more focused there we go anyway we'll end this one this has been one of the longer videos that I've put up enjoy the rest of your day folks I'm gonna try Remember, hit the like button, subscribe, share it out. Let some other people understand what farming is about and what we do out here. And how boring I am today because doing beans, this is the most boring part of the job out here, is waiting for a load. Really boring, folks. Yep. I'll zoom in one more time to the combine. There you go. As you can see, it is picking away. Oh, you got a little off-centered. Damn GPS. 
Yeah, uh, these combines are run by GPS now. He could sit there and not even touch the steering wheel, except to turn around at the ends. GPS will just keep it under control the rest of the way across the field. Anyway, I'm out. <laughs>